All right, um, in this video we're going to do two examples of finding nth roots of complex numbers. So uh, I made a previous video where I explained where kind of everything in this formula in front of you is coming from. So we have a plus bi, we're raising it to the 1 over n, so we're taking nth roots. A is equal to r to the 1 over n cis theta plus 2 pi k, so that's coterminal angles, divided by n. Um, and then k can go from 0 to n minus 1, which again has to do with coterminal angles. So if you're confused or not sure what is sitting in front of you, uh, go watch the other video. Uh, one thing I do want to highlight in this formula, though, is that deal with the angle there. So we have, uh, we have theta over n plus 2 pi over n times k if we break it up into two uh, fractions. Um, and then we can really focus in in the 2 pi over n. Uh, that's what allows the, the nth roots to be evenly distributed um, around a circle. And we're going to use that to quickly get the roots when we're doing a problem. So... Uh, let's let's do one and see how it works. So, say we want the fourth roots of negative 625. So I chose this example because, um, for whatever reason, uh, when uh, it's not explicitly a complex number, it's like totally real or totally imaginary, a lot of people seem to have trouble figuring out what theta is equal to, even though those are the easiest ones. So first thing you're going to do is rewrite it as a complex number. So negative 625 plus 0i. And that allows you to picture it in the complex plane, um, which would put it right there. And you can see if that's where it is, then the angle must just be pi. So at this point, we know just kind of by inspection that r is 625, because clearly that point is 625 units away from the origin, which is what it means to find r. Um, and theta, based on, again, observation, is equal to pi. And then the problem's asking for fourth root, so n is equal to 4. Um, so if we call the complex number z, what we're doing is z to the one-fourth equals, and then it's all about that formula, which uh, you kind of really just need to memorize. Um, so it's going to be r to the one over four, so 625 to the one-fourth, cis, and then it's um, pi over four. So again, I'm breaking it up. So instead of doing theta plus two pi k all over n, I'm doing theta over n, which is pi over four, plus two pi over four times k. And then in this case, fourth root, so k can be um, 0, 1, 2, or 3. And now it's uh, time to find the roots. So if k is equal to 0, I get uh, the fourth root of 625 is actually just 5. And then cis um, pi over 4, because if k is 0, the 2 pi over 4 times k part just drops out. So now if we look at the next thing, we want k to equal 1. So we're going to get 5 cis, and then we have pi over 4 already, Focus in on the 2 pi over 4 k. So k is equal to 1, so I'm really just adding 2 pi over 4 to pi over 4, which gives me 3 pi over 4. And it also gives me a really fast way to get the next angle, which is to take 2 pi over 4 and add it to this angle. So let's do that. So when k is 2, I get 5 cis. Currently I have 3 pi over 4. I'm going to add 2 pi over 4 to that, so I'm rotating another 2 pi over 4 around the circle, because these roots are always evenly distributed. Um, so I get that, and then when k is equal to 3, I'm going to get 5 cis, add 2 pi over 4 to this to give you 7 pi over 4, which is pretty neat. So, I mean, in case, I hope you picked up on this, but we start at pi over 4, we add 2 pi over 4 to get 3 pi over 4, add 2 pi over 4 to that to get 5 pi over 4, and then we keep going and we end up at 7 pi over 4. If we did it again, we'd get 9 pi over 4, which is coterminal to pi over 4, so we know that we're done. Um... Let's do another one. So in this example, we want the sixth root. So this is going to be awful because there are six of them. But I chose like kind of a contrived example. So it's negative 7 to the 6 root 3 over 2 minus 7 to the 6th over 2 i. So the reason I chose that is because it'll let us find um, r to the 1 over n pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this. I do this a lot if I look at if I look at a complex number and it looks like a unit circle point that's just been multiplied by something, I like to factor it out, and then you can um, use your knowledge of the unit circle to find the angle, and you automatically know what r is. Um, it helps if you've done a lot of work with vectors, too, at this point, because uh, unit vectors and scaling them up has a lot to do with that. Um, so from this, I can tell that r is equal to 7 to the 6, which is a very big number that I don't really want to work out. Um, theta, I recognize, is 7 pi over 6, because that's the point on the unit circle. Um, negative radical 3 over 2 common negative 1 half and then n is equal to 6 because we're doing 6 roots so I am trying to find z to the 1 over 6 which will be r to the 1 over 6 
sis um, theta over 6 plus 2 pi over 6 times k. And k can go from 0 to n minus 1 is 5 in this case. Um, so with all that written down, we're kind of in good shape. So the first one, uh, let k equal 0, and we just get 7. So that's why I picked the complex number I picked, because we're doing uh, 7 to the 6th to the 1 6th is just 7 to the 1st, so we get 7. And then 7 pi over 6 divided by 6 is 7 pi over 36. Now let's use, I mean, it's not really a trick, but um, at this point we want to focus in on 2 pi over 6. I'm going to write it with a common denominator, so I'm going to write it um, as something over 36. So 2 pi over 6 is 12 pi over 36. And now what I can do is I can just keep adding every time. So when k is 1, I'm going to get 7 cis um, add 12 pi over 36 to 7 pi over 36, and I get 19 pi over 36. If k is equal to 2, it's 7 cis, add it again, and we get 31 pi over 36. Um, and we can kind of just keep going. So it'll be 7 cis, add it again, we get 43 pi over 36. Um, if it's 4, we get 7 cis, um, 55 pi over 36. And finally, if k is equal to 5, we're going to get 7 cis, um, 67 pi over 36. Okay, so one way that you can check and see if this worked for you is to actually go one more, but I'm just going to do it for the angle. So if I add, um, if I add it again, I would get to 79 pi over 36. If I subtract 2 pi from that, so 2 pi is, in this case, 72 pi over 36. I'm going to subtract that. So that's, that's another way of writing 2 pi. That is equal to 7 pi over 36, which was the angle I started with, which means that um, I went all the way around the circle and kind of got to a coterminal. So I did it right. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.